Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain you about our Texas Instrument project, Acoustic Beam Forming. So basically our project is on boosting the sound on one particular direction and suppressing the sound from all other direction so that you can concentrate concentrate the sounds from only one particular direction and you can neglect the sound from other directions so what we have done is we have used the concept of array of microphones as in the uh, antennas you, uh, by using multiple antennas you can get the beam from one for one particular direction and you can send the signal in that particular direction only in the same way we can get the sound from one particular direction using array of microphones so in this picture you can see this is the location of the source sound signal so what we can see is this signal is reaching this first microphone with, with some delay say we can take that as reference at t equal to 0 after some delay it is going to reach the second microphone so re the relative delay of this sound signal from this first microphone signal will be this part delay divided by the uh, velocity of the sound in air so this path delay we can easily tell that it will be d cos alpha alpha is the angle between this horizontal plane and the location of the source from this microphone so in the similar way the same sound signal is going to reach this third microphone after 2d cos alpha delay so if we choose carefully the sampling frequency of these microphones in such a way that the first sample of this first microphone is same as the second sample of this second microphone and similarly the, the third sample of this third microphone and so on then we can add all these sam samples that is first sample of this first microphone and second sample of second microphone and so on you will get the boosted version of this sound signal from this alpha direction and sound from all other direction will add destructively to give minimum sound from that directions so uh, in other words you can form acoustic beam in this particular direction only so we can easily say that we should choose the sampling frequency as 1 by d cos alpha so that you will get the exactly same copied version of the sound signal which reached this microphone at at the one uh, one timing delay before this sample so we have done its matlab simulation version here what we have done is uh, so we have taken five microphone arrays and and we have given the coordinates manually this is what we done for the simulation okay let's say it's in the uh, 5 meters from this x axis from the center microphone and 10 meter along this along, along that from the normal of that microphone that is and we have taken 5 microphones and we have taken 25 centimeters as the delay between each microphones so if we if we add the various time delays signals of the sample version of these microphones you are going to get a beam in that particular particular direction so you can see the simulation so here is the figure so so we have plotted it in the uh, uh, taking angle as in degrees so if you take this x axis as the um, axis of microphone arrays it is telling that the source is present in this particular direction making an angle of 60 degree to the array of microphones so 
which we can see that is 5, 5 meter from this uh, in the x axis and 10 meter from this y axis so it will around come in that particular angle only so you can also see if I change this to seven or eight meters so you can see the beam tilting in that particular direction so since I have increased the x-axis direction so it is making it is tending to make some smaller angles with respect to this array which we can say intuitively so it's also following that so also if I reduce the number of microphones to just the two or three microphones we can compare the performance so you can see a very poor performance in localizing the sound so it means that we have to use more number of microphones to localize the sound source accurately so in real real time implementation it will be problematic since we need to get accumulate all those signals and add that to produce uh, produce the sound so it will be little problematic if we have many number of microphones since that many delays we are going to add so we have to choose some optimal size of microphones so this, this was a simulation of, of acoustic beamforming so our aim was after getting these signals from one so we can infer from this that um, if we change the, change the spacing of the microphones we can tilt the beam in whatever direction we want so we can make some mechanical arrangement to, to tune this spacing so that we can uh, we can boost sound from one particular direction so after getting these sounds from one particular direction uh, those will be composed of many sound signals of, uh, in that particular direction so we have done then unmixing of the Y sources using independent component analysis it is an adaptive algorithm using non gaussianity maximization and negentropy methods you can separate the so sound sources from originally mixed sources so in this particular simulation you are going to first hear the mixed Y source from first microphone we have taken only two microphones in this case and secondly you are going to hear the sound the sound source from the second microphone after that you can hear the unmixed Y sources so here here is the simulation So now you can hear the unmixed sources. So you can clearly make the difference between two music sources which was originally mixed together. So this was our project on acoustic beam forming. We, we were trying to implement it in the hardware but due to the noise level of the microphones uh, we cannot exactly get the results which were shown in the simulation. So uh, we are trying to Im improve that but we could not make it on time. Um, we are sincerely hoping that uh, we will improve it better in future. Thank you.